the top systems to streamline your business. Hi, this is Tasha with eXp. I'm going to share with you what systems that I put in place to help streamline my business. This is going to work for you. Does it only work for me? It's definitely going to work for you too if you implement it. So one of the first systems that I uh, utilize is Trello. Great thing about Trello is that I can put, and I'll put a screenshot somewhere in here, um, is that I put together a, um, so first of all, it's a checklist system. So um, what I do is I put all of my buyers into my Trello checklist and I have a whole step by step, like what all the tasks are that I have to do from the buyer consult all the way to closing and after closing. So I have 154 step system that I put in um, Trello that helps me with streamlining my, um, not only um, my customer's experience, but also with um, keeping track of deadlines and things that I need to do. You can add dates to it. You can um, add uh, documents in there. So if you have like you and a team member or you in your TC or you and somebody else, you can share that with them and you can all keep track of what is happening in that system. So Trello is awesome. You can try it out for free. Um, I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I just, I love these tools. So I just want to share. Um, write Inbox is another system. So the great thing about Write Inbox is that it's an extension. So, so put it on my Google for my Gmail and it's um, a really cool system to be able to utilize uh, for um, emails. So what it allows you to do is you create email templates. Um, you can, uh, so that way you're not rewriting emails every time. Um, you have to email a client or email somebody. You can do templates and you can also set yourself a reminder, follow up at a certain time. It's basically like a little CRM within your email. So, you know, that's one of the top systems that I use that helps me um, as well as Calendly. Calendly is an appointment center. Um, I use that and it has really streamlined um, how I, you know, how quickly I get on the phone with somebody because I'm not always available at that moment whenever they reach out. And I've found that it works for me. Like I send it like, hey, you know, this is mainly for buyers, but you know, you can choose a time that works for you. So I make it about them and like, hey, you know, you can just pick a time that works for you and you know, we have the consult. So, you know, I just send them that link, super easy. You don't have to do any more like back and forth, like, you know, trying to schedule things out with people. So that's one of the top tools that has streamlined my business. Um, also, you can use highnote.io. That helps you create, you know, buyer and listing presentations. Um, you can do like pre-listing presentations in there. Um, it's really cool because you can, um, it, it's like a little website and you can customize it to your client and whoever it is that you're sending it to. So, um, you can send it to, um, buyer clients, like before you have a call, you can send it after you have the call with them. So the way they know what to expect next. So I've used that for several things. So I, I, I love that tool. It's you know, I feel like it makes it a lot easier than putting a whole bunch of information in an email, which is what I was doing before. Um, I also use Slack, which is good for um, if you have a group of people that you need to stay connected with. Um, like I have my um, agents on there that are on my team. And so we will, you know, I'm posting monthly meetings in, or the weekly meetings in there. And, you know, I can po post all of the, stand the SOPs um, and Anything that I need to put in there, I can put in there. It's like a communication tool um, that you're able to use to, you know, communicate with a whole group of people. So it makes it a lot easier to communicate that way. Um, another tool for Google is um, Folio. So that I used before Write Inbox. Um, it's a little it's different than Write Inbox because Folio is more for... Um, reminding you about the specific transaction so you can put the inspection contingency um, and all the deadlines on there and you can also just add everybody onto 
um, you can add your transaction coordinator, lender, escrow, so that way everybody's on the same page. So it's really cool. Um, you do have to pay for it at a certain point, um, but I found that helpful um, whenever I was first starting out. Um, keeping current matters. Okay, this is just phenomenal, especially if you have trouble with creating content on your own and you have nobody to help you with creating that. It's content, social media content created for you. It's blogs, guides to things. Um, you can do Pinterest and Instagram posts. You can do all sorts of things within there. It's content that's created for you, um, not specifically to you, but they do have a, a way to customize it to put your info at the end or info on the material. It gives you own, your, you, your own like blog sort of thing so you can post that and then of course people click on it and they see your info there and you don't have to spend all those hours trying to create content and blogs and all of that and they also have videos in there as well. Um, Canva, um, I started out with the free version of this but then I went over to doing the paid version just because I was in love with it and it's not that much to upgrade so I ended up switching over that and I'm very glad I did. I have my virtual assistants creating content for me off of there and I've created plenty of content on there as well and um, it's just it, it's really good you can set up for like a branding kit so you have your your branding uh, you know colors in there and you can upload your own pictures and all that so definitely Canva. Canva is amazing. Um, Real Scout for setting up um, home buying searches for people and so instead of using the MLS I'm using Real Scout, and I like Real Scout because you can see what your client is looking at. They can request showings. They can have conversations with you. It's just a better user interface than what the MLS was. I still personally go to the MLS to look up all of the information. I just like that for just interacting with the client and seeing like this client's looked at this home 27 times. Oh, they definitely like that home if they're looking at it 27 times. So it allows you to see. You know, those sort of things. Um, LastPass, really good for password sharing without having to share your password. Um, so that's good for if you have a virtual assistant. Um, and then uh, I think this is the last one. So Google Forms, Sheets, and Documents. This has been super helpful for um, like creating buyer questionnaires that people fill out before I have a call with them, um, creating documents for my agents. Um, just sharing all of that with other people that I need to share it with and so you know I do have a ton of templates that I would be willing to share with you guys I have all of these systems and I'm sorry this video is gonna be a little bit longer than usual just because it's a lot of info and a lot of good systems that I use um, I'd be happy to you know discuss with you more in depth about those specific system um, and then like I said I have a lot of templates um, for a lot of these tools if you want to reach out to me, I'd be happy to share that with you. So just, um, you know, send me a message or, you know, um, send me a text, like whatever you want to do to reach out to me. I'd be happy to share that with you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.